Um, I'm going to go through good documentation practices. This is critical. This is part of the reason you signed the training form when you came in today. Good documentation practices is going to be how we demonstrate that we're following the law. So feel free to interrupt me with any questions at any time and we'll answer them as we go because I want to make sure that this is clear and it, it resonates with you and you understand the criticality of this as we go through it. So why do we do it? Why good documentation practices? The good documentation practices are our firm's interpretation of the regulations, the regulations, which is law, in our procedures. Failure to follow our procedures is therefore a violation of the law. The documentation that we file is legally binding, meaning our procedures and our SOPs, our device records, and anything we fill out in them. So here's a form that many of you should be familiar with being a U.S. citizen. Um, this is the U.S. individual tax return form. And this is a form that is also legally binding. Basically here, where you're signing, you're saying under penalties of perjury, I declare that this return and the accompanying statements are true, correct, and complete. Because after you sign that, it is um, subject to audit. And if they audit it and find that there are any discrepancies, the IRA will come after you for those discrepancies. And there will be penalties similar to the penalties that we've discussed the FDA would put on a pharmaceutical or medical device manufacturing company. 